Hey everybody, welcome to happy hour. Today we're going to pieces. We're going to make a mosaic stained glass. You can use these same techniques to mosaic lots of other things. Our neighbors used to say if you stayed at our house too long, we would mosaic them. So I'm going to tell you the items that you, you're going to need for our project. We're going to make a window today. So I have my $5 window that I got at the salvage yard. I've gotten colored stained glass from your local hobby store. You can buy them in sheets or we bought some that were already cut up. That's the lazy way to go, which that's probably what I'll do. And also these um, ones that are already cut up were 30% off. So oh, one other thing about the glass, we bought the broken sheets of glass and they are on sale, obviously, since you can't use the whole sheet. We're going to adhere the pieces of glass to our window with silicone. It's clear, and so we want the light to shine through our window. Even though we're going to grout it, the light's still going to shine through, and that's why we ha you, we're using this silicone, because it's clear. And we have grout, and that's important. We have two kinds, so we'll talk about that in a little bit while we're grouting. And if you're wondering where we got our pieces of glass and sheets of glass, don't worry about it, because through the magic of TV, I'm going to take you there right now. We went to our local hobby store, and you'll need to cruise the aisles until you find the glass section. The colors are amazing, and the sheets of glass can run from $1.79 to about $8. Well, we're outside now because I'm going to show you how we break the glass. There's really not a great place to break the glass, so I'm trying to get out of the kids' way, not in the middle of the street, so we won't have flat tires. First, I'm going to don my safety goggles. Now, I'm literally going to pieces. You can have all different sizes. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Y'all want to see? Take a peek. Now we've broken our glass and we're back inside. We've already done three panes of the window. We have one left, so I'm going to show you how easy this is. Um, these colors are so bright and pretty. I really wish I would have had some beads to put in there. And I thought I had some at home, and so we didn't buy them at the store. And we got home and I couldn't find them. But anyway, this is going to be fabulous. And you can paint your frame in the end if you want to. Or you can just leave it weathered looking however you like it. I'm going to paint mine and put a few bobbles around it. And hang it up in my window. But this is very simple, and you can do this same concept with tiles and I'm gonna well you saw everything in our house that we did it on but it's very easy the same concept you just use tile glue and the same grout we're gonna be using for a million different projects so this project could never end that's why we have so much of it in our house Here, Mama, your oh thanks I don't want to get my hands all dirty cuz this is messy so y'all probably want some gloves on right Grant yes, we have our gloves now we're gonna Put a little water in here, mix it up, make a big mess, but in the end, it's gonna look good. You don't really need that much water, but you just, you can't mess up, because you can pour more grout if you need it. I think that's probably not enough, but, woo, then that's too much. But here we go, we're gonna mix it around with your hand, or you can use any tool you have, but you know, we like to keep that part simple. I'll show you our consistency, kind of, can you see that? It can be a little waterier, but really this is good too. So here we go, Grant. And look, try not to get it as much on here, just on the glass, but we're gonna wipe it off anyway. And what you do is spread it on and be very careful because the edges of these are very sharp, okay? So you just smear it in to all the cracks. Black looks so good with this. Y'all may be thinking, ooh, but I'm telling you, it's gonna look good when we're finished and if you want to you can paint your frame after you're finished or embellish it with 
beads or ribbons or sayings. You can stamp little sayings around the edges. So any, any way you want to embellish it when you're finished. And then we're going to stick our hooks in and hang it up. What do you think, Grant? You like smearing that around? Yes, <laughs> Does it feel gross or good? Yeah. <laughs> like a mud pie? Kind of like a mud pie. <laughs> We're at our final step. And basically, the final step, you just wipe and wipe and wipe all the grout away. So. We've been wiping a long time, <laughs> not really that long, but this is all it is. It's very easy, but it's just repetitive and it's messy. So just keep wiping. Your colors will start popping out. Remember, I can't stress enough the biggest point to not let the grout dry on the glass because it takes forever to get it off. So keep wiping. Keep wiping to get it all nice and pretty. There are two kinds of grout, like I was talking about, at your home store, and you're going to use sanded grout because our spaces are bigger, and that is what sanded grout fills bigger spaces. Non-sanded grout fills smaller spaces. So remember, sanded grout. Thanks for watching, and we hope you all like this project. We always want to hear your ideas, so if you have anything great and cool, send us your ideas to ideas at happyhour.com. And it's H-A-P-P-Y-A-U-E-R.com. You want to tell them bye, Grant? Bye-bye. We'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.